You wake up the morning after Thanksgiving and feel like you've gained 10 pounds overnight. Ever wonder why a single dinner can make you feel so heavy, bloated, and completely wrecked? Today I'll explain what actually happens to your body after Thanksgiving, like you're 5 years old. By the end, you'll understand the science behind your bloated belly, why that scale number jumped, and exactly when your body will return to normal. Most people step on the scale the day after Thanksgiving and panic. The number went up 3 pounds, maybe 4. They immediately think it's fat. But here's the truth. You didn't gain 4 pounds of fat from one meal. That's physically impossible. To gain 1 pound of actual fat, you'd need to eat 3,500 calories above what your body burns. To gain 4 pounds of fat in one day, you'd need to eat 14,000 extra calories. Even the most epic Thanksgiving feast doesn't hit that. The average Thanksgiving meal is around 3,000 to 4,500 calories total. Your body burns roughly 1,500 to 2,500 calories just existing that day. So the math doesn't add up. The weight you see on the scale isn't fat, it's something else entirely. Here's what really happened. When you ate that second plate of mashed potatoes and stuffing, you flooded your body with carbs. Your muscles store carbs as glycogen, which is basically fuel your body can use later. And here's the kicker. Every gram of glycogen holds onto three grams of water. So when you pack your muscles full of glycogen, you're also packing them full of water. A typical person can store between 400 and 600 grams of glycogen across their muscles and that means you could be holding on to an extra 3 to 4 pounds of water just from carb storage alone. Add in the sodium from Thanksgiving dinner and things get even more dramatic. Turkey, gravy, stuffing, rolls, and green bean casserole can contain over 5,000 milligrams of sodium. That's more than double your daily recommended intake. When you flood your system with salt, your body holds on to water to dilute it and maintain balance. Your kidneys need time to filter it all out. That's why your rings feel tight. That's why your face looks a little rounder in the mirror. The combination of glycogen and sodium creates the perfect storm for water retention. You're not fat. You're swollen with stored energy and excess fluid. This matters to you because that weight will disappear in a few days once your body burns through the glycogen and processes the salt. You didn't ruin anything. You're just experiencing a temporary physiological response. Most people see that scale number drop back down within three to five days without doing anything extreme. Your body already knows how to fix this. It just needs time. Now check this out. Your stomach actually stretches. You know that tight, uncomfortable feeling after the meal? That's your stomach physically expanding to hold all that food. A normal empty stomach is about the size of your fist. After Thanksgiving, it can stretch to hold up to four liters of food. That's over a gallon. And while your stomach is stretched, it sends signals to your brain that make you feel sluggish, tired, and kind of out of it. The vagus nerve, which connects your gut to your brain, goes into overdrive transmitting fullness signals. This nerve also affects your heart rate and breathing which is why some people feel short of breath or uncomfortable after overeating. The stretch also slows digestion, which is why you feel full for hours, sometimes into the next day. Your stomach muscles are literally fatigued from holding everything. This matters because that heavy, stuck feeling isn't a sign you damaged yourself. It's just your body processing an unusually large load. Your stomach will shrink back to normal size within a day or two. But here's where it gets wild. Thanksgiving doesn't just mess with your stomach, it messes with your hormones. When you overeat, especially foods high in fat and sugar, your body releases a flood of insulin to manage your blood sugar. That insulin spike is followed by a crash, which is why you feel foggy and tired the next morning. At the same time, overeating disrupts two key hormones, leptin and ghrelin. Leptin tells your brain you're full, ghrelin tells your brain you're hungry. After a massive meal, these signals get scrambled. Your leptin levels stay elevated for up to 24 hours, but your brain becomes temporarily resistant to it. It's like your brain can't hear the fullness signal anymore. Meanwhile, ghrelin gets suppressed, but then rebounds, sometimes making you hungrier than before. That's why some people wake up starving the day after Thanksgiving, while others can't even think about food. Your hunger cues are temporarily broken. Your body is sending mixed messages because it's trying to recalibrate after an extreme event. And then, there's sleep. A lot of people blame the turkey for making them tired, but tryptophan isn't the real villain. The real issue is that digesting a huge meal takes massive energy. Your body redirects blood flow to your stomach and intestines, which makes you feel sleepy. Your digestive system is working at maximum capacity, which means less blood flow to your brain and muscles. 
add alcohol into the mix, and your sleep quality tanks. You might fall asleep fast, but you don't sleep deeply. Alcohol blocks REM sleep, the restorative stage where your brain processes memories and emotions. Poor sleep messes with cortisol, your stress hormone, which makes you feel groggy and irritable the next day. Elevated cortisol also increases cravings for high-calorie comfort foods. That's why the day after Thanksgiving, you might find yourself reaching for leftover pie at 10 a.m. Even though you're not truly hungry, your body is just confused. It thinks it needs quick energy because it didn't get proper rest. Here's what you need to understand. Everything you're feeling right now is normal. The bloating, the brain fog, the tight clothes, the weird hunger signals. It's all temporary. Your body is not broken. You didn't undo months of progress. You didn't gain five pounds of fat. What you're experiencing is water retention, stretch digestion, hormone disruption, and poor sleep all stacked on top of each other. It feels like a disaster, but it's just your body doing its job under unusual conditions. Within three to five days, almost all of this will resolve on its own. The glycogen burns off. The salt flushes out. Your stomach shrinks back. Your hormones recalibrate. The scale drops back down. This matters to you because panicking and trying to fix it with extreme measures usually makes things worse. Skipping meals the next day sounds logical, but it just confuses your hunger signals even more. Your body thinks it's starving, so it holds on to water and slows your metabolism. Doing some intense workout to burn it off just stresses your already overloaded system. Your body is already working hard to process everything. Adding extreme exercise creates more cortisol and more inflammation. The best thing you can do is drink water, move a little, eat normal meals, and let your body recover naturally. Walking helps move lymphatic fluid and supports digestion without adding stress. Staying hydrated helps your kidneys flush out excess sodium faster. Eating balanced meals keeps your blood sugar stable and helps reset those scrambled hunger hormones. You don't need to punish yourself. You need to let the process play out. And here's the thing. If you kept eating like Thanksgiving all weekend long, if Friday became leftover day and Saturday became another feast and Sunday turned into comfort food marathon, then yeah. The recovery takes a bit longer. But even then, you didn't destroy your progress. You just extended the timeline. Your body is incredibly resilient. It knows how to bounce back. You just have to stop fighting it and let it do its thing. So to recap, you didn't gain several pounds of fat from Thanksgiving. The weight on the scale is water, glycogen, and undigested food. Your stomach stretched, your hormones got scrambled, and your sleep took a hit. That's why you feel so off. But it's all temporary. Within a few days, your body resets itself. You don't need to starve yourself or punish yourself with extreme workouts. You just need to be patient and trust the process. If you ate too much all weekend and feel stuck, don't panic. On the 29th, I'll show you how to bounce back fast without starving yourself. So here's the real question. Knowing that your body is designed to recover from this naturally, what stops most people from just waiting it out instead of panicking and making it worse?